let's talk about everyone's favorite topic of positivity that the Giants picked up this year, and that's Brian Burns. They talked about his young age and strong character a lot. And that's not just on this episode. ESPN and everyone else around has talked about how great he is as a person on the field, off the field. Good old Spidey. They call him still ascending. I mean, he was also mentioned to be the top 10 edge, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. Uh, mentioned he helped, uh, can help Kayvon and Sexy Dex. Dable asked how his sack production was, and it was said he had more sacks than Josh Allen, Rashad Gary, and Mosette Sweat. All these guys were paid, all from the same draft. Shane said the backup plan was to find a rush in the draft if they could not get burnt done. They didn't talk about any other back and forth on extensions, which was uh, agreed before the trade was. Panthers originally wanted two, sorry, they wanted, they wanted the better second round pick, uh, but the Giants said that's all they get. Joe put his foot down, especially when it came to that seventh round pick. <laughs> when Dan Morgan called him, Shane joked, let it ring. Morgan tried to get another seventh round pick. And not like you're picking up your most uh, valuable guys in the seventh round, but yeah, had Shane just made me come back because, come on, man, I need players too. And didn't budge, stayed still. And yeah, Morgan caved. Shane uh, budged on giving 30, uh, pick 39 and 140, along with a fifth round next year, the first fifth round. And then the Panthers would give up pick 165, along with the rights to burn, which, because this is the way his franchise was, we take on the money and they get compensation. If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe. <laughs>